Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hopping Lion Beer Review. <coughs> I was going to attempt to do this uh, beer review yesterday, uh, being as yesterday was Veterans Day, um, but it just didn't work out. So I'm going to do this a day late and dollar short. But tonight I'm going to be reviewing Left Hand Brewing Company's uh, Warrior IPA. Um, it has a really cool label. Um, it's a very Native American uh, label. I think because uh, it's a seasonal beer, uh, it's brewed uh, only once a year with Colorado Fresh Hops. Um, the label, I think, changes every year, which is pretty much normal for, for all seasonal beers. So I haven't looked this up on, uh, on any website, and I've never had it before. Um, and the bottle is not giving me uh, an alcohol content or anything of that nature. There's not much information on here other than brewed with Colorado Fresh Hops. Um, so I'll go ahead and just get straight to the review. So Left Hand Brewing Company's Warrior IPA. <coughs> Today I'm going to be using uh, my Devel Tulip Glass. <coughs> All right. So with a fairly aggressive pour, a very thin head, lots of carbonation. Um, wow, super clear, especially for an IPA. Just super clear. Um, not quite a one finger head. Off white. Uh, almost has a uh, kind of an orange tinge to it. Um, aroma is mm, the aroma is not overwhelming, uh, but there is a uh, slight grassy note, a pine, pine or cedar, the green smelling, very green smelling. Um, not really much, I'm not getting a, a lot of citrus, uh, but we're running at, at right at about 51 degrees. Yeah, the pine's definitely there. Um, I might get a hint of citrus in the background. Citrus in the background. It's all that sweet, kind of, yeah, I'd say malty. It's got a, a kind of a malty backbone going on here. There's something else there that I can't pick out. Uh, almost a mild honey kind of smell, like thistle honey or something. Um, uh, actually, I uh, really like the smell. I could sit here and smell it all day, but I'm not. So do the tasting. Oh, wow. So, um, the first taste is honey. I really taste like honey. It's not really even a grainy, like, sweet malt or anything like that. It tastes like honey. Like a, like a not sweet honey. <coughs> That's interesting. And, um, the hops come in. There's a, it's very mild bitter. Um, IPA-wise, um, I'm not getting a huge amount of hop. It's there. There's definitely hop there. It's in the background, though. Um, I mean, there's a hop, but I mean, it's 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 on the lower end of the IBU scale, uh, I would assume. <coughs> so it's quite tasty. Well, I should have said color. Um. um medium amber with the uh, orange hues, orange hues, um, it's almost, ju it's just like a shade darker than like uh, an American Pale Ale or something of that nature, it's a, uh, it's uh, wow, it's a really interesting flavor, I'm really, 
like I'm digging on the honey notes that are that are really apparent. Um, hmm. I might even want it a little colder next time I drink it. This is um, definitely not sessionable. Um, there's a lot, I mean, it's a super complex beer. Really complex. Even for an IPA, it's very complex. Um, I'm digging on it. I like this. I think this is quite good. Uh, I'll have to give it four hops. Uh, quite tasty. <coughs> of course, I say that at the end of every review, but. Alright, so left hand. Brewing Company's Warrior IPA. Um, <coughs> and since this was meant to be a, uh, a Veterans Day uh, beer review, I'd just like to say thank you to all the veterans out there, uh, no matter your your politics. <coughs> past, present, and future, I appreciate my freedom, and I appreciate you uh, helping me keep it. So thank you to all the veterans out there, and stay tuned. Cheers. Thank you.